Today I'll be calling Cable. My name is Wilkar Meyer and I'm your Elliott Wave Analyst, reviewing what has been and predicting what is likely to be in Cable price action. So, since yesterday you can see that it hasn't done much. This uh, vertical line is yesterday at about 5 o'clock and you can see since then it hasn't done much. <clears throat> Just recapping, I think that this wave up completes uh, a correction that's a zigzag and I'm calling it W and since then I think it's made A down B up and it still needs to make um, C down to this zone between these two yellow horizontal lines I think it's going to retrace right about there the reason why is I believe that is the uh, internal second of the extended fifth so if you have one two three four and five well this is the internal second right here and that's a high probability retracement zone and if I were to put a Fibonacci price retracement on that you can see that that puts it you know close to 50 percent I can put 50 on there if you like this is 52.8 so you can see 52.8 is the bottom, 50 would be a little bit higher. And <clears throat> that's uh, it's a little bit long for an expanded flat, which this would be. But uh, there's nothing that says that can't be. Normally it's around probably on average 38%. So it's only just a little bit deeper. But that's what I'm expecting. And you can also see that... Uh, as I told you, I expected it to get to this second Fibonacci resistance point before it went down. You know, once it breaks, uh, there's an 89% probability that it'll move to level two, whether it be support or resistance. And I took six months in calculating these, and I did it on a daily basis, not a weekly basis. So these were calculated every single day over six months, and that's what I came up with. A break of one you got an 89% probability of getting to two. Um, so that's basically it for the pound. Not a lot's happened. I'm expecting a short. And I thought it might be fun to do a little bit of detail on the yen because the pound's not doing much. The yen is doing more. People are talking about it in the news. <clears throat> this is a monthly chart of the yen. This is the only data I have. So I'm just basically counting what's on the screen. That may be correct. It may not be correct. But I believe this is a five wave down expanding diagonal. So this would be something like one, two, three, four, and five down here to complete A. Okay. Um, there you go. <clears throat> Since then, I believe it's made a triangle. Okay. You can see right here that it's done A, B, C, D, and E, right? So I believe that probably completes the larger degree B wave. And I think, and maybe I'm wrong about this, <clears throat> I think what you're going to see happen is you're going to see the C wave continue. Uh, I know price action has been moving up since basically October of 2011, but I think it's starting to meet resistance you can see this trend line right here that's going across the tops of the triangle peaks and <clears throat> it's reversed so if I zoom in a, a bit on a smaller time scale so I'm going to go from monthly to about 720 minutes you can see that it's done a fairly dramatic reversal. I was counting this entire, I, I think I counted this in real time correctly. Uh, this point here from the bottom, here's the bottom, moved up in three waves. I'm going to call that W, that's a zigzag. I think it corrected in three waves. We're going to call that X. And then this fairly dramatic move up, uh, I believe is also a 535. You've got five to this point, a correction, and then one, two, three, four, triangle, five. And then <clears throat> it reverses dramatically. Now zooming in just a little bit more, going from 720 minute chart to 270 minute chart. 
I'm considering the move up over okay now if that's correct then I'm going to label this wave one down as an expanding diagonal it'll be one the move up is two this move down uh, I believe will be one of three now if that's correct I think you got pretty awesome trade setting up you would expect some sort of retrace maybe around halfway you know maybe 61 percent 61.8 and then as it makes a new low I would expect the drop to really accelerate okay a couple things uh, if you're gonna trade this I would consider the trend line right so you're gonna put a trend line across the tops if price action were to move above the trend line and get a candlestick or bar that closes with the low above the trend line then I would say that my count is probably incorrect and it's an ABC three waves down completing a correction and it'll probably move back up but uh, I would I would definitely use that trend line as a as an indicator if whether that's gonna hold or not or if that count is valid or not so look for it to come up and potentially kiss the trend line and then start falling if it makes a new low I would look for it to accelerate and I would look for yen strength uh, if that happens so if you want to trade this you might want to get in when it gets close to the trend line if it breaks uh, the, the uh, horizontal line that I've drawn on the screen uh, which would be the terminus of two then the one two one count would be invalid um, moving below the terminus here what I would call a smaller degree one would confirm the count and that could be a real interesting trade that could end up moving really fast and you could bank up hundreds of pips potentially um, so anyway that's a little bonus for you since the uh, pound hasn't really done much that's today's call. Hope you'll join me again for tomorrow's call.